Yo, love and peace, this is Ian getting it in with an unboxing video for Sony Movie Studio Platinum Suite version 12. So let's check it out. Sony Movie Studio Platinum 12 Suite retails for about 130 US dollars. I managed to get a good deal for it on eBay for about 80, including shipping and sales tax. It is the consumer version of Vegas Pro, and the title actually drops the Vegas name to just Movie Studio Platinum. More brief, more convenient. The software is available by itself. The difference between getting that and the suite is the inclusion of other useful software sold separately. With the suite, not only could I edit and render video, but I could also edit audio by itself using SoundForge Audio Studio and even author DVDs using Architect Studio. I bought this because my current video editor is a tad outdated. Previously I was using Pinnacle Studio 12. It's decent for someone who's starting out, but it was time for me to either upgrade to Avid or Pinnacle Studio 16 or migrate to Sony. I also use trial versions of other software such as Edius and Vegas. They worked well, especially back when I was doing video game footage, but they were either too expensive or required work to process so I could upload to YouTube. Movie Studio is priced for consumers and renders video optimized for YouTube so the processing is next to non-existent. By the way, I am thinking of doing more videos with gaming footage either on my separate gaming channel or finding ways of legitimately monetizing it. This is, after all, a powerful software to do just that when combined with either a capture card's respective software. It can take in video captured from an EasyCap or Dazzle or even a Hapog HD PVR. Of course, Movie Studio Platinum 12 is good enough for gaming montages if you're into that. The only format I found trouble working with is QuickTime from imported camera movies from my iPad, as my previous Ronma 1 Half Season 5 unboxing will attest. I was expecting a large box, but this suite came in a small box. I was also expecting an user manual of some sort, but instead the only documentation came in the form of quote unquote show me how tutorials within the software. Inside the box, I get a pair of paper 3D glasses with the Sony logo and slogan, Make Dot Believe. Movie Studio 12 allows working with native stereoscopic 3D files, but I don't see myself using them. The specs may come in handy for cosplaying as a certain Data Bebops member from Dance Summit Nisanichi, Bust a Groove. There's of course an application disk which contains installation files for the Movie Studio itself, DVD Architect Studio, and SoundForge Studio. The little slip of paper telling me not to throw it away contains serial numbers and installation instructions in different languages. There's also a bonus content disk with new blue effects, isotope vocal eraser, 
and Red Giant Magic Bullet. I personally won't use them or won't be able to use them on my computer, but it's cool. This has its own little slip of paper for their serial numbers and installation instructions. And finally, there's a slip of paper for fast apps. I'm not sure if I'll ever get these, much less use them. Back when I was quote unquote trying Vegas and other software, I didn't much take advantage of extra fluff. I was more in it for simple editing and rendering. Overall, even at the steep price as it is, this is a decent software for budget-minded video makers. I hope you enjoyed this unboxing video. Please subscribe and share my channel on YouTube. Follow me on Twitter at Inuyasha. Follow me on Tumblr Inuyasha and Pinterest Inuyasha. I hope you enjoyed this video of Sony Movie Studio Platinum Suite version 12. Love and peace. This is Ian getting out.